Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. We welcome you to Wings of Intercession Prophetic Prayer Movement. I'm Prophetess Misty Goodwin. We're under the leadership of our pastor, Dr. Russell Antonio Goodwin Sr. We thank God for each and every one of you. We ask that you be the evangelist of the ministry. Invite others on the call for you don't know who has need of Jesus this morning. And we just believe God is going to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask or think according to the power working in each and every one of us. Amen. Today, I'm going to mostly pray in the spirit for there are things in the unseen realm that has become um, really extreme. And the way that we combat those things is to pray in the spirit and allow the Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us in all truth. So I'm going to be praying in the spirit most of the time and, and whatever the Lord leads me to pray, that's what I'm going to pray. But we are in a, in a very uh, strategic hour when we uh, see these uh, demonic strongholds uh, and confusion, you really have to just pray in the spirit and allow the Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us in intercession. So I believe that um, these hours that we're in right now are is wild out here. That's the word he gave me. It's wild out here. And he began to give me, uh, matter of fact, I'll give you the scripture for that. Hallelujah, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father God. You are God and you are a God all by yourself. We humbly submit to your leadership. Um, it's in Genesis 3 and 1. It says, Now the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God really say you must not eat from any tree in the garden? Of course, we may eat from the trees in the garden. The woman replied, But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said you shall not eat it, nor shall you touch it lest you die. Then the serpent said to the woman, you will not surely die, for God knows that in that day you eat of it, your eyes will be open, and you will be like God, knowing good from evil. So we're in a season of much deception and doors of illusion, delusion, and confusion, and wild, the wild animals, meaning the lions, the tigers, and bears, and there's revelation through these strong men. Uh, there are 15 strong men, and I'm not going to pray them today, but going into the rest of this uh, time of prayer, I'm going to be led to pray against these strong men, hallelujah, for the rest of the month, going into the next month, because these are the unseen uh, things that we are experiencing and it's going, it's growing stronger and stronger. And in order to uh, overcome and overtake these things, we must become stronger than the strong man. And so I'm going to be praying against these things, this, the, the unseen dangers that the enemy has used to set against uh, our lives. Glory to God. And the Father who has already covered us and protected us, uh, it is for us to know and know the times and seasons we're in. It is for us to understand that we have to fight. Uh, God says, stand. Um, he told us yesterday, stand uh, to war, to wait, and to win. Glory to God. To stand, to war, to wait, and to win. Glory to God. These battles that will continuously uh, come to interfere. This move of God requires us all to go up higher in our intercession. If you are an intercessor for the ministry, I'm, I'm challenging you to go higher in the Lord, to come up higher in the spirit. Glory to God, to, to really tap into what the spirit of the Lord is saying to combat the works of the devil. Glory to God. So I'm going to go and start in prayer in the spirit, and I'm I'm interceding for everyone in this on this call or who will listen in the replay that God is for you and anybody that will come against your life. Hallelujah. If God be for you, who can stand against you? Glory to God. The Lord has covered us. He has angels. There's a hedge of protection, but yet and still you must build up your most holy faith. In other words, not get caught up in your flesh, not getting caught up in your feelings. 
not getting caught up in carnality, not getting caught up in the foolishness, not getting caught up in deception, not getting caught up in all the works of the devil. Hallelujah. Uh-uh, we're not moved by these things. These fiery darts have come, but they have no power over us. The Lord God Almighty is with us and for us. Let's pray. Spirit of the living God, we humbly submit to your leadership, and we thank you for this day, this new week that you have given unto us. We honor you for your love, for your grace, and your mercy that you have already went ahead of this week to make crooked places straight and perfect everything concerning us. We honor you for your love. We honor you for who you are in our lives. We honor you for you have sent angels on assignment to watch over, to protect us from harm and danger. We humbly submit to what it is you have already ordained for this week. We ask the Lord Jesus that you will lead us and guide us in all truth, that you will guide us in the way of understanding and revelation. And we shed every demonic door of confusion that would try to tear down or dismantle a great move of God. Let all the powers encamp uh, against our goodness and our breakthroughs become confused and be scattered in the name of Jesus. And let all the powers of our adversaries be rendered Impotent in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, let every evil tongue uttering curses or e evil pronouncements against our life be completely silenced in the mighty name of Jesus. I command that every evil stronghold and the powers housing our rights and our goodness to the, be violently, violently overthrown in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare that the power of God is stronger than any demonic force and that every demonic force be violated and destroyed, annihilated and overtaken by the power of God and that the power of God will cause every demonic strong man to be uprooted and sent back to where the hell, the pit of hell that it belongs and it cannot and it will not overtake anyone home. It will not and it cannot overtake the church. It will not and cannot overtake our minds. It will not and it cannot overtake our hearts. It will not and over, it will not and it cannot overtake our souls. It will not and no, it cannot overtake our children. It will not and it cannot overtake our financial breakthroughs. Glory to God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we destroy every lying spirit that would come against the great move of God. God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we decree and declare that the minds of the people will not be scattered, but the power of God will overtake the mind in the name of Jesus. The mind of Christ is what we have. We reside and we rest in the mind of the spirit of God. And we now understand we have the mind of Christ. And when we know we have the mind of Christ, we will not fall and pray to the works of the enemy. We will not fall to idle conversations. We will not fall all pray glory to God to any uh, imagination that is highly against God. We will not perform with the works of the devil. We will not entertain the works of the enemy. We will not even entertain the serpent and all of his wicked lies who would try to defeat God's people. And I just decree and declare that the mind of Christ is where people reside and they will not fall into the trap of deception through the works of the enemy. 
will lead them and uh, uh, guide them astray, lead them and guide them into the pit of hell, to lead them and guide them out of the will of God, to lead them and guide them into the works of the devil, to lead them and guide them in the wrong relationships, to lead them and guide them in the works of, of, of confusion. Oh God, we thank you today. You have given us power and authority and dominion over every satanic force in the name of Jesus. And we bow down and destroy the works of every witch and every warlock who would cause any confusion in our lives. In the name of Jesus, we cancel every wicked plot of the enemy concerning the covenant of marriage and every godly covenant that God has ordained, every relationship God ordained for our lives. We will not cut off or renounce or separate or divide because of a brokenness, because of trauma, because of ignorance, because of lacking knowledge, because of feelings and because of offense, because of the negative things that have been said or done without having full knowledge and full understanding of what is really going on in the realm of the spirit. But may we all grow up in God into a great understanding of the power of God that rests, rule, and abide on the inside of us. And will we not participate with the works of the devil through gossiping and talebearing in the mighty name of Jesus and let every terror bearer be torn down. May they be exposed, revealed, and removed. May they be destroyed and demolished through the works of the devil. And may God's grace and his mercy rest upon each and every one of our enemies. May they be delivered and set free from the strong man that is controlling their minds. May they be delivered and set free from the arrogance and the ignorance and pride in the name of Jesus. And may the spirit of jealousy be overtaken through the power of God that will cause everyone to align according to the will of the Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pursue and overtake and we recover our properties from the hands of spiritual robbers in the name of Jesus. Let every counsel, plan, desire, expectation, imagination, device, and activity of our oppressors against our lives be rendered null and void in the mighty name of Jesus. We terminate every contract and cancel every permissionary note left uh, kept in satanic files for the sake of our name and our bloodline and our children and our grandchildren. In the mighty name of Jesus, we release every, we release ourselves from the form hallelujah, of these powers and these activities, glory to God, of the wasters in the name of Jesus. Uh, we come against the tale bearers and all those things that there were been said and done that was lies and wicked plots of the enemy to cause dissension, to cause divide. Oh, glory to God, you said a house that is divided cannot stand, but I pray for unity. I pray for agreement. I pray for oneness. I pray for love. I pray for the fruit of the spirit to rest, rule, and abide in our lives, in the mighty name of Jesus, that we will not fall prey to the works of the enemy. We will not find ourselves in idle conversations. We will not participate with the devil and be a, a, a one that works against God in the name of Jesus. <laughs> We refuse to be tossed around by every evil uh, remote control device fashioned to delay our miracle in the name of Jesus. We refuse to entertain, hallelujah, or participate with the lies of the wicked ones. These unseen dangers are covered in the blood of Jesus, but we now have angels on assignment to protect us. Oh, glory to God. And we dwell in the secret place of the most high God, and we shall abide under the shadow of the almighty God. And no matter what principality will come against our life, these principalities have no power over God. We have power over darkness. And we say, let there be light in every dark place, every secret place, every room that there is a uh, conversations with our name. Oh, glory to God. We have someone to defend us. We have the courts of heaven that stands and to defend our name in the mighty name of Jesus. And wherever the wicked one will speak evil against our lives, we decree and declare that we have secret agents on assignment to uh, continue 
you to vindicate us. Uh, God said, vengeance is mine, said the Lord. So we will not speak against high. We will not speak against our adversary, but we will ask for mercy for those. God, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. And those that do know what they do, but do what they do, Father, have mercy on their soul. Have mercy upon their life and their children and their bloodline. For those things that they have spoken against us, God, will come upon their life, their family. But we cry out for mercy and we ask that, Father, you forgive them. We ask that you stand in the gap and God, give them another opportunity. In the name of Jesus, we come against premature death and sickness and disease and car accidents and freak accident, the death angel, the murdering spirit. We come against every lie that will come against our lives. Thank you, Father God, for you being a vindicator and a vengeance is mine, said the Lord. Lord, continue to guard our hearts for out of it are the issues of life. Teach us to guard our heart. Teach us to walk in love. Teach us to have the fruit of the spirit. Teach us to demonstrate who you are in our lives. And Father, in the name of Jesus, for every person that would allow themselves to be postured, to be used by the enemy. Glory to God. I pray for mercy on their soul. I pray in the name of Jesus that there will be conviction in their heart. I pray that the Holy Spirit will lead them and guide them in all truth and they will be set free. I pray that there will be time. God will give them more time to be delivered and set free from the works of the devil. I pray in the name of Jesus that God's grace and mercy shall abound upon their lives in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, teach us to avoid unfriendly uh, people, places, and things that are not profitable in our lives. Glory to God. Teach us to avoid idle conversations. Teach us to avoid gossiping and terrible Keep us, teach us how to avoid any foolishness. Teach us how to avoid everything that's flying under the radar, the anointing. Glory to God. Lord, let us not we shed every door of confusion today in the name of Jesus and let every strange fire prepared against our life be quenched in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. We command every tongue issuing destruction against our lives to be condemned in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare, let all troublers of our name ha, be dismantled, to be disbanded and confused in the name of Jesus. Glory. We declare and decree that the blood of Jesus will clean up all things that have caused a, a waste in our lives. In the name of Jesus, we let every strange hand that have touched our blood be neutralized in the name of Jesus. We command the spirit that abandons blessings to be abound in the name of Jesus. We receive victory over the host of wickedness surrounding our name. In the name of Jesus Christ, we stand against the dream defeats that affect us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And let every spirit attacking us in the form of animals, uh, in the form of different realms of the spirit, God, though God destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus, God, every strange fire that has been sent through the fiery darts, Lord, return to sender now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the counsel of the devil against us be destroyed and be frustrated in the mighty name of Jesus. We bind the spirit of doubt. We bind the spirit of unbelief. We bind the spirit of fear and every tradition and every familiar spirit that would come to contaminate, to come to revisit us, to come to participate, to come to lure us back into Egypt. We destroy it by fire now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Father, destroy every stronghold of the powers of darkness in our families in the mighty name of Jesus. Let every problem affecting our brain be neutralized in the mighty name of Jesus. Let every evil effect uh, of ritual things uh, that are performed through our ancestors be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. Those who are conjuring up spirits and those that are participating with demonic forces and those who are entertaining the works of the 
devil. Lord, expose, reveal, and remove now in the name of Jesus through sorcery and through all these wicked things that, that have been conjured up in the new time through ancestry, through uh, religion, and even through familiarity. We bind up the works of the devil through every portal that has been opened from hell. We shed those portals now through the power of the blood. In the name of Jesus, we are covered in the blood of Jesus from the top of our head to the bottom of our feet. And we shed every demonic door to sickness and disease through that spirit. Oh, glory to God. Every demonic door that would cause the uh, sickness and disease to rest, rule, and abide in our body, it be bound up and destroyed by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, let every link label an oppressor be destroyed by the blood of Jesus. Let every evil pregnancy in our life be aborted in the name of Jesus. Let every dirty hands be removed from the affairs of our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Let every effect of evil access to our bloodline be reversed now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let everything done against us and our families under the devil's anointing be destroyed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Let every evil uh, vessel be dispatched to be do harm let it crash let it burn let it be destroyed and sent back to the pit of hell to never rise again and the gates of hell will not prevail against the church the gates of hell will not prevail against our life the gates of hell will not prevail against our families the gates of hell not prevail against the covenant of marriage the gates of hell will not prevail against the covenant oh glory to god of every godly covenant god covers us in the name of Jesus, through his love, through his grace, through his mercy, glory to God. I decree and declare that our names are removed from any book of untimely death in the name of Jesus. We remove our names from the book of tragedy in the mighty name of Jesus and all evil umbrellas preventing heavenly showers to fall upon us be restored. Re restored, uh, destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let every evil association and assassination summoned for the sake of, uh, for our sake, be scattered, be destroyed and demolished by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to God. We command every satanic reinforcement against us to be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. We cancel every evil vow that are affecting us negatively in the mighty name of Jesus. We destroy the clock and the timetable of the enemy for our lives in the name of Jesus. We, we reschedule our enemies to, to useless and harmless and no power. We demolish and we destroy every work that the enemy would use to keep us in bondage in the mighty name of Jesus. We decree and declare that every evil device against us is being de destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare the healing power of the Holy Spirit is overshadowing us for protecting us from all evil and all sickness and all disease and all untimely death in the mighty name of Jesus. There's a hedge of protection around us, our children and our grandchildren to the seventh generation to protect us from all hurts and walks of evil in the name of Jesus. We pray over every church open in the name of Jesus that these evil wicked plots of the devil will not come in to cause fear, to impart confusion, to scatter the sheep in the mighty name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is against every demonic force that would cause hurt or harm upon God's people. We pray over every apostle and every prophet and every pastor, evangelist, and teacher that they are covered in the blood. Cover their minds and cover their hearts and cover their souls. Cover their families. Cover the ministry assignment and the mandate, the mantles, and the gifts in the college. We plead the blood of Jesus over all these demonic assassins uh, nations that have been sent out from hell. These portals of hell be shed and destroyed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. And let us all rise to a new occasion of understanding that you, if you be for us, who can be against us? And let us not be arrogant of the wicked device of the enemy. Lord, destroy every wicked device 
by fire in the name of Jesus. By the power of the blood, let there be light. Let there be light in every dark place. Let every secret agent that may be hiding under the radar of the anointed or hiding in the house of God. Let every witch, warlock, sorcery, uh, soothsayer, every demonic thing that has been set up against the house of God be destroyed and demolished by fire in the name of Jesus. Lord, us, let us not be ignorant. Let us not be ignorant. Let us not walk in foolishness. Let us not walk in pride, but let us walk in pureness of heart in the name of Jesus. For blessed are the peacemakers, for they are the true sons of God. Lord, teach us to walk in these last evil days to guard ourselves and not be moved and not be caught up and not be overtaken by the works of the devil. Lord, teach us how to war. Teach our fingers how to war in this hour. For the evil have come. And we understand we have power. You promised us in your covenant, God, that then in the last days you will pour out your spirit among all flesh. That you will, in the last days, you will protect the righteous, God. In the last days, you will keep us high and protect us from harm and danger. In the last days, the famine come. It will not come near our dwelling. In the last days, God, you gave us a covenant and we stand on your word. In the last days, God, you said that all sorts of evil will rest, but yet we will, it will not come near our dwelling. A thousand will fall at one side and 10,000 at another, but it will not come near our dwelling. So we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Deliver us from the coldness of heart and the weakness of will. Deliver us, God, in ways we don't even know we need deliverance, God. Lord, we cancel every spiritual problem attached to the months of January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December of this year. We call it to be nullified in the name of Jesus through the fire of the Holy Ghost. Whatever the enemy has set up, we cancel now in the name of Jesus. Father, pour out shame on every power struggle in the name of Jesus that the spirit of shame will not rest upon your people, that they will be delivered and set free from e anyone that has been participating yes lord with the enemy and you convict them may they be delivered from condemnation may they turn back to you and get it right with you father those that may have fallen short of your glory and got caught up in their trauma and fell into offense in the name of Jesus, when you convict their heart, may they turn back to you and not fall back into the traps of the enemy. May they apologize. May they do the right thing, Father, in the name of Jesus. And may them not participate with the works of the devil, oh God. And Lord, when they come back, Lord, prepare our hearts to walk in love. Prepare our hearts to demonstrate your power of love, God. Oh, God, for love covers a multitude of sins. So teach us how to live in new levels and new dimensions of love that we will not find ourselves in offense and find ourselves cutting off people, but loving them back to life, God, to restore them in the name of Jesus. And, Lord, those who are not ready to do the right thing, expose, reveal, and remove those who are arrogant and operating in pride and do not want to get right with you, Father. Expose, reveal, and remove. Let us not participate with the arrogance and the ignorance of the enemy. For his job is to kill, to steal, and destroy. Hear me by the Holy Ghost. We, we are very in a, a season that you cannot afford to not listen to the Holy Spirit. You have to be willing to adjust what you thought you heard God say. For instance, when God is giving us instructions and then things go opposite, go wild, and he says, do this or do that, you do whatever the Holy Spirit leads you to do. For the Lord knows the heart of man. And it's not for you to say, but Lord, you said this, or Lord, you said that. The Lord knows when confusion rests and he will lead you in another direction. Uh, uh, Jesus said, I have need to go through Samaria. Jesus in that time was going to raise up Lazarus from the dead. And so in the midst of him raising up Lazarus on that path, God led him in a different direction. Yes, he had an assignment to go and raise up Lazarus. But in the last hour, the Lord led him a different way. Glory to God. And in this hour, you got to be led wherever the Holy Spirit leads you. You better go.
You better move quickly and not question God because God knows the pathway in which we should go. And so we have to be, y'all already know this ministry assignment. You better be able to flex and flow. You cannot afford to not be able to move while we're moving by the spirit of God. We are not confused. We are not in a state of confusion. We're not delusional. We're following Christ. We're following the leadership of God's power. And whatever he say, we going to do. However he leads us, if he tell us in the ninth hour to pull out or change direction, we're going to do whatever the father said. And in this hour, you better learn how to flex and flow. It's not that you miss 